This cat is so sweet. You just touch him and he starts to purr. The other day, I let him outside and he was just begging at the door to come inside. He was afraid of a bird. <laughs> In 2008, these scientists won the Nobel Peace Prize for making glowing cats. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. That, I mean, that that's pretty world-changing, glowing cats. I mean, we're already obsessed with cats on the internet, so why not make them glow? Come check this. glowing cats are, <laughs> that wasn't really the main point of what they were doing. <laughs> Their actual goal was to cure feline AIDS. Scientists thought that maybe someday that we could use this on humans and cure AIDS, hence the Nobel Peace Prize. They use something called a green fluorescent protein found originally in the crystal jellyfish. The glowing protein made a really great marker to know if their genetic modification had worked or not. They knew that their genetic modification worked whenever the cat would glow. This this type of genetic modification has been used before in all sorts of animals. The real question is, can you buy one? No, 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 no. No, you can't. And here's why. There are a lot of moral complications that come with genetic modification. Changing one gene in a DNA sequence could potentially change several things in the organism. So yes, even though they might have pinpoint the gene for curing feline AIDS, this could have other implications that they don't really know about yet. I mean, do we really want genetically modified cats running around? Let's be honest, cats are murder machines. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> My cat is enough to handle. I think that if it were to glow, I it might be a little bit just like too much. I mean, but we've already made the chihuahua, so how much worse can it get? So actually, in China, <laughs> the first genetically modified babies were born. This scientist just took the cat thing to a whole new level and actually did cure HIV. <laughs> the story is that the father of the family had HIV and didn't want to pass it on to his children. So through this genetic modification, he and his wife were actually able to have a family. No gene was changed except the one to prevent HIV infection. Now, that's all great and all, but as mentioned earlier, changing one gene in a DNA sequence could potentially change several things. Several things. So, whenever this happened, the scientific community had a total outburst, and the scientist who did this is now in jail for three years. You're stealing, right to jail. You're playing music too loud, right to jail, right away. You're driving too fast, jail. Slow, jail. You're charging too high prices for uh, sweaters, glasses. You write to jail. But he knew what he was doing and he knew the possible outcomes of what he was doing. I understand the man's work will be controversial. But I believe family need this technology. And I'm willing to take the criticism for them. Now let me know in the comments, would you buy a glowing cat if you could? And what do you think about genetically modified babies? I mean, I see his point. I see why he would want to cure HIV. I mean, imagine how many families and how many people this could help. I don't think he's like some sort of evil mad scientist or something. And he specifically states in his interview that he's not for designer babies, but just like how he took it one step too far too soon they, there's no way you're gonna stop designer babies once <laughs> that's just my opinion but let me know what you think if you're gonna be doing some crazy dna modification maybe you should do it on the moon because if these kinds 
of DNA and get mixed with their own and we don't know the implications of what it is. I think there needs to be a lot of testing to know, is it safe? Is it okay? <sighs> My question is, so in America, there's something called the IRB, which you have to go through in order to get permission to do studies. What? Who, who okayed this? <laughs> My theory is that China doesn't really care. They're like, yeah. Scientists have launched an ambitious search for the genes linked to human intelligence. We're looking for the smart people. Those that has an IQ higher than 145 points. Zhao works for the Chinese biotech giant BGI, which owns more gene sequencing machines than anyone in the world. Now just think about this for a second. If China's gonna make some crazy designer babies that are hyper intelligent and unleash them on the world. You don't know, you don't know what other kind of implications would come with that. Now the world is not ready for that. That's why there was such an outrage about it. Um, and the world is not ready for glowing cats either to <laughs> just buy on the internet. If you had um, glowing cats, their fur gets everywhere, and now you're just gonna be glowing cat lady. But you're just so cute. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. If you wish to write Lulu and Nana or myself, use the email on your screen.